Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I made another trip, came home with a gauge self-setting plane. It's kind of a unique plane, it has some features that you don't find on other planes. I don't know that it's necessarily better than all of the other kinds of planes in the world, but it's definitely different. Let me show you what the differences are. This is a gauge self-adjusting plane. I picked it up at the antique shop yesterday. It's unique in that it has this mechanism. Now, the patent dates are between 1883 and 1886. And the plane was designed and patented by a gentleman named Gage. It has some really cool ideas on it. It's a, a transitional style plane. And one of the things that a transitional style plane does is it has a wooden body. Now, a wooden bodied plane uh, wears away. The iron planes do wear away, but it takes them a long, long time. And like I had to do with the Union plane, most times when a transitional plane wears out, you have to add a sole plate onto it. The gauge design handled that by making an adjustable mouth. When the sole of the plane has worn to the point where it's not flat anymore, and you can see that this one's got some wear on it because the blade on the square rocks. By loosening these two screws, you can pull this up and you have that much area that you can take the plain sole down and have it come out square. Then once you have it square, you loosen the two screws, slide that down until it's flush. and the plane is ready to go. The adjuster for raising and lowering the blade itself is this threaded shaft right here. The end of the shaft has a shoulder cut into it and the shoulder uh, slips inside this yoke on the blade. Then you can adjust the blade up and down by simply turning that screw. The blade is held in place by the cap iron and the cap iron is designed to slide over the top of that which keeps it in line with the blade in place. The cap iron is slipped in until these two bosses engage the bar. It stops it from going any further down. By tightening this screw it levers against this bar and clamps the blade into place. By loosening the screw on the clamping device you can adjust the blade out until it protrudes the proper amount to make the cut. It doesn't have a lateral adjustment That's pretty much held by this bar and the only way to really adjust the blade later laterally is to loosen that screw and slide it back and forth until it lines up. You sight down the plane. Adjust that until it's square. Tighten that screw up. Loosen this screw and you can adjust that. You can adjust the blade for stick out. Once you have that adjusted, you tighten this up. Now this is called a self-adjusting plane and I think the idea was you can loosen this up 
pull the blade out, sharpen the blade, drop it back in, tighten that up, and it's back relatively close to where you had it. Of course, you're going to have a little bit shorter blade because you've sharpened it. But that's a, a fairly quick setting. Not too bad for a hundred year old plane. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.